What is NEAT? NEAT stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. This is basically a sexy term for calories burned through movement but outside of structured exercise. Standing, fidgeting, moving, etc. Let's take a look at total daily energy expenditure. Now this is basically a sexy term for the total number of calories you burn on a daily basis. Basal metabolic rate is the number of calories you burn at rest. Even if you're sleeping, your body is burning a certain number of calories just through breathing and maintaining organ function. If we go to the top, physical activity is the component that you have most control over. This is split into calories burned through structured exercise and calories burned through NEAT. NEAT is commonly neglected. When someone wants to lose weight, they tend to think of things like joining the gym or taking up running. However, NEAT tends to be a far bigger contributor to total daily energy expenditure. Due to evolving changes in our lifestyle, such as increased transportation options and increased number of sedentary jobs, it shouldn't come as a massive surprise to anyone that we are probably burning fewer calories on a daily basis than we used to. And this is important because in a physical job, it's possible to burn 2,000 more calories than someone who's chair-bound, for example. NEAT has also been shown to be able to offset fat gain during periods of overfeeding. When subjects consumed 1,000 calories more than their maintenance needs, differences in fat accrual varied tenfold. In short, NEAT can serve to mitigate the additional calories. Decreased physical activity has also been shown to be a significant contributor to decreased metabolic rate after a period of sustained weight loss. Other research has shown that successful weight loss maintainers, in the column on the left, had a significantly higher step count than people who were of a similar BMI but maintaining their normal body weight. Importantly, there's a theory that increasing exercise can decrease levels of NEAT, so the exercise calories burnt are not purely additional. This is described as constrained total energy expenditure. A simple example of this would be smashing a hard workout but then going and sitting on the sofa for the rest of the day because you feel exhausted. This is one reason why exercise may not be the weight loss stimulus that people expect. All in all, high levels of NEAT can help mitigate fat gain during periods of overfeeding and can also serve as a useful strategy for weight loss maintenance. On top of this, moving more is free and simple for people to do. It doesn't require any special equipment or a gym membership. Simple examples could be using less public transport, using stairs instead of elevators and escalators, not sitting down on your lunch hour, not parking in the closest space to the supermarket entrance, and most importantly, not spending half your life watching Netflix. People often say that you can't out-exercise a poor diet. Likewise, it's very difficult to out-exercise a sedentary lifestyle.